Shannon Sharp thinks Jill Biden inviting Iowa team to White House could cost Joe Biden 2024 election. Uh, <laughs> this is ridiculous. Um, but you play, you play stupid, you play these political games, you play these, uh, these racial games, and you win stupid prizes. This will happen. This is what's going on with the left. They're playing these stupid uh, uh, racial politics stuff and, and uh, worried about offending people, and then you end up offending everyone. And this is what's, ha what's what happening here. Um, but before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button, share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber, and hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon. That's what I talk about things I can't talk about here. There's also a link to my Instagram and my merch store where I have I Will Not Comply t-shirts. All right, let's talk about this news. Shannon Sharp warns that First Lady Jill Biden wanting to invite both the LSU and Iowa women's team to the White House could cost her husband the 2024 election. He says Dr. Uh, Jill is playing with fire by hoping the losing predominantly white Iowa team joins the winning predominantly black LSU team in visiting her and Joe. And Sharp predicts such strategy will turn black voters against Biden to a degree great enough to cost him his re-election bid. I, I don't agree with that, but quote, did you forget who helped put your husband in the White House? You're going to find out a very uh, serious, hard lesson in 24, Sharp proclaims. Joe will be like a, a Kentucky or Duke freshman. You'll be one on one and done. All right, so I'm gonna play the video in a second, but this is just this is just utter ridiculousness. This whole thing, you know. But this is what the left does. They play these games. They they play uh, uh, identity politics, and with the identity politics, this is what you get. You you run the risk of offending people, and that's what it is. They eat the, the left eats its own, and that's exactly what we what um what uh, uh Shannon is alluding to here. So uh, let's let's play the video really quick. Um, one second. Here. All right, let's play. Um, let me get the full screen here. All right, here we go. Let's play the video here. The part of winning a national championship. That's a part of my winning the Super Bowl, yep. the World Series, or the NBA title. Guess what, Skip? We get invited to the White House. Yeah. The losers don't get anything. Fair use, fair use, but that's true. <laughs> you don't get there are you you won. You know, there this is what you expect to get like a participation trophy. That's what the left pushes. That's what the left is. The, the whole, everyone gets a participation trophy, everyone gets to meet the president and all this other stuff. No, that's not what it does. That's not what merit is about. It's about winning. You win, you be number one, and then you get the benefits of that. In second place, don't get anything. Mm -hmm. This is not a participation award, and that's what's watered down sports in America. Yeah. Little Johnny and Little Susie him. get an award just because they were on the team. I normally don't agree with uh, Shannon Sharp, but I definitely agree with him with this. This is what's watered down uh, America. Everyone gets a participation trophy. When I was growing up, if you didn't win, you didn't get anything. You know, um, I play AAU ball and all that other stuff, and, you know, you had to win. At least get third place to get trophies, you know? Team, yeah. although they didn't win anything all the teams if you were in the league you get a trophy no winners get a trophy that's what life is about you gotta mm -hmm. win skip i don't get no get I, what do i get by sitting at home doing absolutely nothing i don't get a paycheck i don't get i don't get anything i don't get the rewards of winning and yeah. she and she's like well give her a break she doesn't understand she was in attendance she was intense she saw what was going on in the arena <sighs> she knows the backdrop of this story um, I'm kind of surprised, but again, not surprised that uh, Sh uh, Shannon has this take. I'm surprised that he's going after uh, Jill um, on this, um, um, and I'm surprised that he uh, he's actually talking about winning like this. When he's, and we know that Shannon Sharp is a leftist, and he normally agrees with the left in their stuff, but I'm surprised that he's actually going after Jill Biden on this. The number one trending topic. What was Skip? It wasn't that LSU won. It was Angel Reese. And Caitlin Clark. Yep. And so she what she's a doctor. If she didn't know, she should have known mm. before she opened her mouth and blurted this dumb scenario out mm. because they played hard. Skip everybody played hard. Yeah. 
but you get rewarded by winning this. In 2016, there was a, it, it's been out for a long time, Skip. They said optics. How do things yeah. look? Mm -hmm. Does Dr. Jill Biden understand how this looks? She, white America, yep. the losing side mm -hmm. is white America. Yep. And she's like, you know what? Since the black, <laughs> the black, Come on, mm. Dr. Biden. Mm. You know better than That's what happened when you play identity politics. This? Mm. Did you forget who helped put your husband in the White House? You gonna find out a very serious mm. hard lesson in, tw eight, in 24. Mm. You'll be like a Kentucky or Duke freshman. You'll be one and done. Mm. Now play with it if you want to. Now you mm. try to appeal to a certain group that don't give a you know what about your husband. That every chance they get. You see how popular you mm -hmm. are? You see how popular your husband is? Yeah. I tell you what. He'll drop another five percent if he do this. Mm -hmm. That's that's crazy. That is crazy. That 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 the left is attacking her on that. I think it's hilarious. I think it's funny. Well, uh, for the sake of the country, we hope Sharp is correct. You know, uh, Biden is the worst president in modern U.S. history. Um, um, Sonality is a trait far from advantageous in a leadership role. I mean, everybody knows that. And Biden cognitive limitations, as well as rampant inflation, chaos at the border, spending of taxpayer dollars, and a wacky cabinet are reasons to believe voters will ensure he's one and done. However, Jill inviting though the losing women's basketball team to the White House is not one of those reasons. I, I think he's being hyperbolic. The truth is, few Americans care about how many teams she invites the outrage is good fodder for social and sports media given the race element but the matter is just that a talking point for a perpetual for the perpetually outraged especially on the left um not a single battleground state will shift its vote on the basis of jill of jill's hopes uh to celebrate two women's teams plus far more offensive to a demographic uh, was Jill Biden comparing the always critical Latino voters to breakfast taco. Y'all remember when she did that? <laughs> in fact, Sharp suggesting black Americans could vote otherwise in response, um, <clears throat> could vote otherwise in response ought to be insulting to the community. They keep thinking that we're a monolith and we keep proving that we're not. But he thinks the uh, votes of black Americans are flimsy enough to be won or lost based on a matter as benign as an invitation to the White House. His expectations for said voters are insultingly low. Come on, man. <laughs> but let me know what you think. Leave your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe. And check out democrepublics.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace.